This painting by Jacques Stella represents a biblical episode in the life of King Solomon. It was produced at the same time as the work, Solomon making a sacrifice to the idols, shown on the wall to the right. These two paintings simultaneously complement and contrast with each other. If we stand back from the wall, we can compare these two compositions which seem to interact. In both cases, the scenes are rendered in a theatrical manner, set with an imposing classical architecture and related with a frieze-like composition. But in the painting on the left, the atmosphere is more solemn. The action takes place during the day. On the other hand, in the scene on the right, the figures are shown in movement, while the presence of the moon indicates that it is nighttime. Let's study the painting on the left first. We see an eastern queen arriving at a palace bearing treasures from her own country. On the left, surrounded by a few seated advisors, the king sits on his throne under a canopy. The scene represents the Queen of Sheba visiting Solomon at the beginning of his reign. She hopes to obtain from this king, well known for his wisdom and justice, answers to some difficult questions. To express her thanks, she offers riches, vases of gold, incense, pearls, and coral. In the foreground, on the far left, the presence of a guard frames the composition. Now, let's move toward the second painting on the right. In compositional harmony with the guard of the first painting, a corresponding figure stands on the far right of the second painting. He is wearing a red garment. However, in this case, his function is no longer protective. Rather, he is a spectator stupefied by the scene. In the midst of a happily dancing crowd, an old man kneels, his arms outstretched toward the altar on the right, on which we can see the statue of a cow or young calf wearing a crown. Solomon appears here as an old man. His 700 wives of royal rank and 300 concubines have brought along their gods and idols, as the Book of Kings tells us. The demented old man is offering sacrifices on the heathen altars, ignoring Yahweh, the one and only God of his people. Thus, it is two completely opposing aspects of the same character that Stella has chosen to represent. On one side, the powerful young king adored for his wisdom. On the other, the insane old man lost in the adoration of graven images. These paintings must have held great significance for Stella who kept them in his possession until his death.